Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malaysia Jordan. I am your certified personal trainer and here on my channel is everything fitness reviews and lifestyle vlogs. And today we are going to do an updated review on the weighted hula hoop. As you guys previously seen from my video right here, <laughs> I went and bought the TikTok famous weighted hula hoop and I did the initial opening setup and my initial take on the weighted hula hoop. Now I went ahead and used the weighted hula hoop for about a week and a half and I will go ahead and give you guys my honest opinion as a exerciser and as a certified personal trainer. I'll give you guys the pros and the cons and I'll be very transparent about how many calories I burned weekly from using the product. So let's hop right into this updated review. Okay, you guys, I want to start by talking about, on average, how many calories did I burn per day. So, for doing about 30 minutes of the weighted hula hoop, I burned, on average, 138 calories per day, which, in total, came out to be 965 calories burnt for a week so i did the weighted hula hoop for about a for about nine days and during those nine days i burnt a total of about 965 calories um i kind of compared that to me walking and on average i burned about 200 calories from walking for about 30 minutes and that goes about 14 1400 calories per week so i do burn more calories walking than i did from the weighted hula hoop but i just want to make sure i get that out my average heartbeat per minute was about 100 um, beats per minute so you guys have been wanting to know what do i feel about the product malaysia is it worth buying is it for somebody who has lower mobility problems is it more beneficial for somebody who you guys have been asking me so many questions so i'm going to dive right into it and we're going to start by talking about um how much i burned in average calories so to help me measure the, my health metrics, I did utilize my Apple Fitness Watch and I used it so that I can make sure I get my the most accurate caloric count as well as the most accurate beats, heartbeats per minute. So I'm going to go ahead and search some footage right here of me actually using the product um, for the first couple of days. Thank you. Think I seen a fly, think I think I seen a fly, think I think I seen a fly. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Yeah, we do it all day, dog. I bite and you play, dog. I don't like the way that you play, dog. Every night that we pack it a man. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into the pros that I found while using the weighted hula hoop. Pro number one, it is very easy low impact there is no jumping required and it's very beginner friendly so if you're somebody who is looking for an easy way in a kind of interesting way to get into fitness i would definitely suggest that you will not run into um you won't run into a very high demanding cardio or lower body workout this won't require you to sweat immensely so if you're looking for a beginner friendly easy no jumping workout then this is a great option for you a next pro it is great for the lower body um it, it really does work those abdominal muscles it helps it helps you get stronger core muscles um as well as it works those hips it increases your mobility um you're working those hip flexors and extensions so it's really good for your um hips and and i believe maybe if you use it consistently over three to five months then you will it may be more than just in 30 minutes a day then you might go ahead and see that waist circumference come down another area of the body that the hula hoop definitely works is the lower body it's working those quads your hamstrings it's working your glutes and it's working your calves those are all the major muscles that the weighted hula hoop is utilizing um to get that that motion going 
Um, I also liked another pro was it boosts your cardiovascular system, which is just your heart and your lungs. Because you're shifting, because you kind of have that motion going on, you are um, having some aer aerobic action happening in your heart and lungs. So it, there is some cardio happening there, which is always, any type of cardio is great for your heart and lungs. And doing this 30 minutes a day, if you're somebody who needs something easier, is a great way to get that cardio. I do love that it is inexpensive and it is portable. So this is something that you can go ahead and pack up. You can break it apart and disassemble it and take it apart, put it in your bag, and it's very easy to reassemble. So if you want to take this outside of your home, you want to take it to the park, if you want to take it for a group of your friends, it is very um, portable and it is inexpensive. I believe I paid between $25 to $30 for this. Okay, so now I'm, gonna, I'm going to give you guys um some pros that were kind of just benefits of doing it one of them is you have the ability to watch tv so you're sitting there you're hula hooping right so what are you doing with the rest of your time what are you doing with your attention i went ahead and started turning on motivational videos i was watching educational videos i was watching youtube a lot while doing this workout so you do have the ability of watching tv while doing a workout which it's fun, right? One of the last pros is actually the equipment itself. Because this requires you to take off pieces and adjust as you lose weight in your waist, it's a great weight loss indicator. And by that, I mean, if I am losing weight, I'm going to have to take this, take one of these off and make it smaller. That right there indicates to me that I am losing weight in my waist if I have to adjust these. So it's a great weight loss indicator. So now that I've given you all my pros, let's get into these cons. Number one, right off the bat, it is not a full body workout. You're going to be working those abdominal mu muscles slightly, but she's more focused on the lower body. It is not a full body workout. So that upper body is not getting tended to, which is a problem for me. Um, I am a big um, person when it comes to having a full body workout you know there's it's okay to um focus on the upper body sometimes another lower body sometimes but just focusing on the lower body and not giving our upper body any attention can be dangerous and can lead to muscle atrophy two I don't think I would prefer this if I was somebody who is a moderate to high intensity exercising. I found this to be extremely boring and repetitive. And that is because I'm used to high, more high intensity, more demanding workouts. Um, I'm used to being able to go from one exercise to the next to the next when you're hula hooping continuously for 30 minutes there's not many variations of that exercise that you can do and that right there made that boring to me and it kind of made it less motivating if you're somebody who needs to always be switching it up or if you're somebody who gets bored with exercising easily then i forewarn you because this one will get boring you can even turn the tv on and all that but after a while it just seems like what am I doing, right? For uh, another another con of mine would have to be the low caloric burn. Like I said, on average, I burned about 965 calories for using it for nine days. Um, and I was burning on average about 135 calories a day. Now, I will say I was impressed that I burnt over 100 calories. But on average, I'm burning, if I'm just walking, I'm burning about 200 calories. So I burn more calories while walking than I do while doing the weighted hula hoop. Now, that's just for 30 minutes. If I was to extend it to an hour, I would think that I would probably burn about 260 calories. And on average for my HIIT workouts, I can burn between 350 to 400. So... Yeah, it does. It has a low caloric burn, but it does burn calories. I will give it that. And it burns over 100 calories. All right, you guys. So that is my honest opinion. Those are the pros and the cons. Is it worth buying? It really comes down to the person. It really comes down to what you are looking for. If you are looking for something that's beginner friendly, low impact, and easy way to start, then this is a good suggestion. If you're somebody who's looking to really get on this weight loss journey to really see weight loss happen, it is possible with this, but it will take you 
a very i won't say very long time it will take you a longer time than if you were doing a hit workout if you were doing a regular um circuit or interval workout it will take you longer to see results all right you guys thank you for tuning into this video i really hope it was helpful make sure you guys stay tuned for part two over the next five days, I will be adding a booty band to um, my workouts with the weighted hula hoops. And I will be trying to do some weighted workouts with the hula hoop. So stay tuned. Um, I'll be coming back showing you guys what workouts and what exercises you can use with the weighted workout to make it more effective and to get a more higher calorie burn from it. So, that being said, make sure you guys like, subscribe to this video. If you have any comments, make sure you comment that below in the comment section. And if there's any other reviews or any other products you guys would love for me to try, definitely let me know in the comments. You guys stay beautiful. You guys stay blessed. And don't let this way to hula hoop hit you in the head, okay? Peace.